uh, what can I do to sustain and to advance the work of St. Peter's next year? And I'd like to ask Bill Gibson. He is, uh, he's, our, he's leading our stewardship team this year to come up and talk a little bit about it. It must be 2020. None of these are back in the church. I know. Can you believe it? The world is turned upside down in the year 2020. Now we have the Nunley sitting in the back of the church. What? 2020. Oh, my goodness. Uh, good morning. Oh, it's great to be here with you all. Donahue's in the front. Wow. Okay. Go this figure. All upside down. <laughs> all right. So whether you've uh, decided to return to church or continue to worship from home, um, we cannot imagine a better, better theme than our annual stewardship campaign than one together. For me personally, it's great to be back with you here this uh, morning at St. Peter's. I miss seeing the familiar faces, uh, greeting new guests, um, and having Adam and Eric with us. Many of you here at the 8 o'clock service, of course, um, have helped Beth and I raise our guys, and I'm pleased to report they are both doing really well at James Madison University. Thank you, Lord. We draw, we draw our theme from the opening words for holy baptism in the Book of Common Prayer, which are, there is one body, one spirit, there is one hope, and God's call to us, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all. Uh, during this pandemic, many of us, including myself, have felt disconnected. As such, I appreciate the telephone calls to check in, the invitations to gather in a safe environment, or via Zoom, emails, and our monthly good news. There is, at least here at St. Pete's, um, there is no such thing as too much communication right now. Uh, if you haven't checked out the October version of the good news, you should. It's right out there uh, as you exit the, the uh, sanctuary. Um, inside you'll find an aptly titled message from Father Tom, so good to be together again. I highly encourage uh, you all to check that out, as well as the budget update from the vestry. Over the next four weeks, we have planned a series of testimonies from the staff here at St. Peter's, sharing of their passion and vision of the ministry they love. I'm looking forward to hearing from Kathleen Voss. She's the director of our ch uh, children's ministry. Jonathan Cote, he's the director of our youth ministry. Andrew McGinley, music director and Dan LaPre, our sexton. You will not want to miss hearing from these amazing leaders. Please be sure to join us in our safe and ready church or via video. Um, I feel completely safe in this church, by the way. Thank you. Um, I wish Andrew were here right now because if you missed last week's Blessing of the Animal Service, uh, you missed probably one of the best bluegrass bands in the world. Um, that was awesome, honestly. Um, they're as good as it gets. <clears throat> you know, the coming months we're going to have, you know, some disappointments, you know. Uh, there's going to be some discouraging moments for, for some of us, for many of us. But I'm uh, looking forward to the months ahead in anticipation of joy, personal growth, and uh, new opportunities to live out our faith as one together. So I appreciate your time this morning, and uh, for those that are uh, tuning in via Zoom or YouTube, um, you know, um, be, be sure to tune in over the next four, four weeks, because you're going to hear from, from our amazing leaders, and I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Thank you, Bill. You bet.